Dapper Dan. What about that? That's my buddy of mine. <laughs> he looks real good now, doesn't he? Mitch Green. I hear he's a born again Christian. He's a born again Christian. That's why I see him. Let's in show the him some love. Yes, he does deserve love. But you gave him an eye jammy this big. Jesus. Yeah. What the fuck? <sighs> At one point at Dapper Dan, yeah, that 2 a.m. Really in the morning. No, it was like 4 or 5. 4 yeah. or 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I would like to listen. Just... Sometimes when you're married, you don't want to fucking go home. Okay? I did not know that had anything to do okay. with marriage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes you don't want to go home, so you stay the fuck out sometimes, okay? So Dapper Dan, you're at Dapper Dan. Yeah. Miss Green comes up. He thinks he's the baddest. What the that fuck? was a big mistake, believing that. So what happens? I forgot. <laughs> you forgot what happened? Nigga, life is so dope, he forgot when he beat niggas up. <laughs> it happens. But it was the most famous story in New York City because these were our two, these were our two underground, vicious motherfuckers. And they I never looked at myself that way. I used to thought I was a good kid. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> good kid, Mad City. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bad City, right? Oh, you didn't know how they thought about you, Mike? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want because, to Because let's be clear, Brownsville? Jesus. What's up, Charlie? You okay? Charlie. Charlie, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Cause right. Brownsville, <laughs> next to Best Stop. When you think of New York City, let me just be clear. That's East New York. Right? I used to, I used to get my 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 teeth. I used to get my gold fronts done in Albee Square Mall, and I knew. Yeah. Oh, y'all know about Albee Square Mall? And I knew at some point I might get robbed. It just it's gonna happen. That's how Brooklyn was back then. Yeah, but um, as I um, got older in life, I realized this guy can kill a hundred guys, but can't talk his way out of a fucking parking ticket. Mm. You know, that's just how it goes. Sorry. It's complex. It's complex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody can do that shit. Have you been to Brooklyn recently? I just left last week. Do you know you could get a cream pie in Brooklyn? Um, a junior. <laughs> that sounded terrible. A junior. But it's the truth. He's right. A junior. <laughs> it's the truth. You get a cheesecake in Brooklyn, and not just in juniors. But you getting cream pies? And cream pies. Okay. Be careful. But you still get shot, though. <laughs> you still get shot. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. You, you like, get a cream pie, but if you go on the wrong block, Shamika still gonna shoot you. <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes, Shamika's gonna fucking shoot you. <laughs> Have, have you identified with the new Brooklyn? You mean the new Brooklyn? Yeah. Have you went to the Soho? The gentrified yes, Brooklyn. Yes, it's really gentrified. The gentrified. You know, I, I'm cool. You know, I'm cool being with people that's um, saddled and not civilized and not savages anymore. Mm. I don't have to go from that transition, so it's good to see other people go through that transition. Right. And you drink... That's but, but hold up. As a guy from Brooklyn, right, and I know that you 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 wear Bro Brooklyn on your sleeve. Be, having that relationship with Pac, and then what happened with Biggie? Rest Great question. To both of them. Woo! Great question. How did you feel in that turmoil that they had? I thought it was ridiculous, and that's what it was. It was two people into their feelings too much. You couldn't just say, "Hey, it's over. Fuck it. Poof." Did you know that yourself at that moment, in your space that you were in? I knew it was going to end really bad. I just knew that. I knew it wasn't going to end nice. Right. And it didn't. Because you had a relationship with Big? Yeah, Big. I met Big one time, and he came to my house for a party. I had a party in my house. And he was, you had tigers? They were out in the back, yes. Okay. And, um, <laughs> to be clear. He liked the house, but then he started telling me, hey, do you know Chinaman? He told me you and him used to fly pigeons. And yeah, that's one of my oldest friends in the world. I knew him when I was eight years old. And big knew your oldest friend in the world, yes, Chinaman, who flew yes, pigeons. Yes. Holy moly guacamole. Yes. He, knew, he knew those guys I grew up with named Fame and all the shit up the hill, Brooklyn. Yeah, he knew all those guys. 
And also had a relationship with Suge Knight. Yeah, I knew all those guys. You knew them all. Yeah, I knew all those Suge Knight, Big, Puffy. Yeah, and listen. East uh, Coast, West Coast. How the fuck did Mike Tyson never get caught up in the East Coast, West Coast beef? Or did you? Because is everybody just scared of you? Is that no the problem? No one's scared of me. I, I treat people the way I want to be treated. Has nothing to do with fear. But as rappers, that was, um, as an East Coast rapper, New York, Queens, New York, uh, that was probably the worst time of my life. Really? Um, going through the East Coast, West Coast thing because... Which I, wasn't a real thing. Let's just put that out It wasn't a there. real thing. East Coast, West Coast was could not a real thing. I could never actually fabricated. identify and say that it wasn't a real thing. I couldn't say that because the two big dogs, was Tupac and Biggie, and when Tupac and Biggie wasn't existing no more, it was hard to say that this beef that we are talking about doesn't exist. It really was a blink in my eye to not hear no more. What we talking about don't mean shit. What? Real talk. All day. Real mm. talk. Real talk. We all have an expiration date. Yes. But we still live like we, we still act as if we live forever. Mm. Right. And that's just the way it is. Because I, I just don't think death is bad. You know, I did all the special animal and tree and plant medicine. I did all of them on the world. I did every time. The highest, the highest um, psychedelics in the ayahuasca? world. Ayahuasca? You did ayahuasca? The toad. Ayahuasca is not the highest. You don't like ayahuasca? It's over. It's overrated? Overrated, yeah. Okay, Mike, no one has never said ayahuasca is overrated. I wanted to go to Peru I'm and be with a shaman and do the whole ayahuasca thing. Ayahuasca is the I shit that you're about to die, right? You take it and you're no, going to die. die, bro. Your, your, your ego dies. Ego death thing. Your but, ego dies? Yes. Um, and then you're afraid. You're really... Um, and you can't do it in America. You got to do it in like no, Peru. No, they do it here. All I do it here all the time. They have shamans. Yeah, yeah, snitching on yourself right now. they have shamans here. until they find me. Listen, catching come before hanging. I feel like we gotta make some noise hey. So, okay. Hey, you too? You do but we just seen, nah, that's, that's not powerful enough for me. What? We just seen Will Smith. Yeah. Go on David Letterman, yeah. talk about ayahuasca. Was that? He said yeah, he did an ayahuasca trip. He man. said that's what like, he, he did, did before thing. he thought about slapping Chris Rock. That, the way he put it was not the way I he said it. Did, he didn't I definitely say fucked I did ayahuasca up. before I slapped No, Chris I definitely Rock. fucked this up. I fucked it, but, but what I'm saying is it related to, and what he said was, he said he saw his money flying away from him. He saw his life flying away from him. Is that something that you do when you do ayahuasca? Because I'm, hey, I'm, I'm interested a, in doing listen, it. Listen, um, we could do it tomorrow right here. I'm in tonight. <laughs> this is the stuff that you really can't articulate. You know, I'm, my, my brain is, um, isn't sophisticated enough to articulate that. That's some wow. divine shit that I can't explain. Wow. Okay. That's just the real deal. That's real. And Will Smith is, um, he's at a level of life that's really mind-boggling right now, but no one right. even knows it. Yeah, no. <laughs> no one even knows it. No, that's it. real shit. 